I'm going to demonstrate in the Grip and Cockpit Simulator an air-to-air -air scenario where we will do missile firings from long range against uh, the adversary. We are now putting this uh, scenario outside the coast of Colombia on the wide area display here, fully customizable. Uh, this uh, blue symbol here in the middle is myself, this is me. And I can now see some targets, the yellow circled symbols here, which are targets sent to me over data link by some sensors and radars in mainland that have picked these up. I am now selecting a target and I'm going to se select a weapon. The red symbology means that this is the weapons engagement zone of that enemy aeroplane. And I have the better missile with the Meteor, so I have much bigger range. So he is now inside my weapons engagement zone, which means that this symbol has turned green. I will now fire a missile, which you can also see. You can see the missile goal. Whatever I see here on my sensors, I can send down to ground forces, provided they are on the same tactical data link system, which is the common waveform which we're using for Colombia. This is the concept of the human and machine collaboration designed for the Gripen EF, which is built into the Gripen EF system. Compared to many other aeroplanes that I've flown, the other designs where you choose to present a lot more information, we have taken the approach to filter out what the pilot doesn't need and only present what you need in every given moment. The challenge in modern fighter aviation today is to manage the data, all the information, the complexity of the scenario that you see, to make the right decisions, to understand what's happening. And to that purpose, we also started using AI-powered software because AI can do things that the human brain doesn't in analyzing complex scenarios with electronic warfare and, and making sense of things that happens around you. The Grip and EF capability is its ability to take off and land on very short runways, even below 1,000 meters. So I'm going to land this aeroplane on this little airfield here in the front. So this is an airfield which is around 800 meters long. This is much, much shorter than any other kind of normal nominal airplanes can use which means they may need four or five times the landing uh, yeah, airstrip like this. Mm. And then I can park my aeroplane here somewhere and three or four people will come, rearm, refuel the aeroplane within 15 minutes. Symbology tells me that I can now take off. Gerard. And I'm good to go.